Hey guys, it's me Cubad, and today I'm here with a follow-up tutorial uh, to my previous one. Um, this here I'm gonna show you how to uh, put in a car um, in the game that we made in the previous tutorial. The link is in the description if you haven't checked that one out. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is delete the FPS controller because we're not gonna need that anymore. So if you go to assets, you're gonna have to do import package um, uh, vehicles. I'm gonna click that and then import. Uh, I'm just I've gone ahead and uh, imported it because it takes a while. So we're gonna go into vehicles and in a car. Um, if you don't have it yet, you can pause the video and just wait. And then we're gonna go into prefabs, and then we're gonna click the car object and drag it straight down there. So now, if you look around in this area, we have the car um, looking pretty cool and everything. And let's say we want to uh, make it look a little more colorful. So, go back in our assets folder. We're going to make a new folder. Uh, always keep yourself organized. I'm going to call it materials. I'm going to go in. And then you click go to create and then material. So now material is something that you can apply to the surface. Kind of like the textures we used, but now we can apply this to like the objects. So... The first thing we're going to do right here is name this, I'll say, mm, green. So, and then I'm going to go to this albedo property right here, click it, and then click green. And I'll take that out, click green, and drag it straight onto the car's body. Now, you can go into more detail, color up the wheels differently, or the rims, or the tires, doesn't really matter, I'm just going to... Uh, skip ahead so we have our car here but now how do we drive this car so what we have to do is um, create a, a camera you just as usual uh, right click and create or just a uh, game object camera just gonna go ahead and so click enter if you want you can call it main camera whatever you want and then you're gonna click it and move it into car. Now what this does, it makes it a child of car. Which means if car moves, so does it. So now what we have to do is deal with the positioning. We need to drag this around and make sure that it's above ground. And that you can see the car in it. So you can see that little speck of green right there is the car. Obviously it's not. It's too far away. So we're going to bring it in closer. You can use uh, do this any way you like. I'm going to settle uh, for that perspective and then I'm going to put a downward slant. So if you go to the camera and then in the inspector pane on the rotation we want to rotate it on the x-axis so I'm just going to put a 10 degree rotation. Yep, that looks perfect. So now if we actually just close up that if you want, we could play. You can see that we're in the car. We can use WSD or the arrow keys, whatever you prefer, to drive around. Now this is pretty cool because well, now you have a whole new way to explore your world. You can see that it has its own physics engine, deploys skid trails on the ground. It's all very impressive uh, and really shows you how easy Unity is to get started with. You can see the trees and uh, the car has a collider, so if you cry, you can't go through the tree, obviously. Uh, you can change this if you wanted to, but I just keep it like this. You can even go into your water, climb up the hill if you want. Let's try getting. You can see it actually obeys physics, so the car can just climb anything. It needs to have momentum. So you can jump into the pool. Uh, I think we're stuck. Okay, so that's great and all, but what if you wanted an airplane instead? Um, so then what you do is I'm just going to open up car, drag out main camera because I like the position, and then we're going to delete car. So now we're going to go back into assets, download assets, vehicles, aircraft, prefabs, and then we have a jet and a propeller aircraft. Let's start out simple, so let's take out the propeller airplane, click main camera, make it a child of the aircraft uh, propeller object. Uh, you can adjust the camera however, however you like. I think I'm going to do a complete uh, 180 and move everything the other way because I don't want my plane to just fall off the edge. 
so 180. And then, oh wait, I just see what happened. Uh, I'm gonna undo the 180 on the camera because if the camera is at 180, then when you spin the entire airplane object, it spins with it. So I got an aircraft propeller, Y180. 180. And there you have it. So now if you could play, you have an airplane. And you can control it uh, with the W key to speed it up and the uh, S key to slow it down. And then you can use your mouse to control the airplane. And so you pull down to go up, push down, push, uh, like push it up. So you can like fly around, enjoy the scenery. Now, just saying, you can also use the jet model included. So, say you don't want the propeller one, you can just take it out, delete that, bring in a jet. It's just that easy. Then we can do a 180 on that, and then we can connect the camera to that. Now, obviously, the camera needs some tweaking in position. Uh, you can see from the camera preview down below. And there we have it. Let's go to play mode again. And now we have a perfect jet. So, as you can see, it's pretty interesting. This one we can control with the keys. So we can fly around in our scenery. And if you click the mouse button, you can slow down. So as you see, this uh, obeys physics as well. If you slow down too much, you're going to fall. The physics engine is actually pretty useful. Even if you... Oh, there we have it. Okay guys, thanks for watching, and if this video helped you and you think someone else might like it, share it with them.